Hi everyone. In a previous movie, we took a look at working with strings. In this video, we're going to be taking a peek at indexing, which is grabbing a single character from a string, as well as slicing, which is grabbing subsections from a string. Let's jump into Robot Mesh Studio and get started. Okay, so I'm inside of a Robot Mesh Studio Python mimic, and I'm just going to create a variable, and I'm going to call it my string. Uh, what you call the variable really doesn't matter. And inside of this uh, string, I am going to write hello world. And then I'm going to print the value of my string. So let's see what happens when I run this code. So the Python interpreter takes a peek at it, goes through the code, and it displays hello world here in the debug window at the bottom. Now, let's take a look at indexing first. I'm going to add a couple of new lines here and create a comment. I'm just going to say indexing example. And what we can do with indexing is we can lift specific characters from the string. So you'll recall that in Python, uh, strings always start at the first character, which is at index zero. So if I go and print uh, my string, and then have my square brackets and put in zero for the first address of the first character and run this code. Let's see what happens. So I have hello world and then the character H. And we can actually see that the last character in this string is the uh, letter D. And so D is going to be at the index that is one less than the number of characters in the string. So if we were to count, we'd see that this is zero, one, two, three, four. The empty space counts as a character. It's five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So let's go ahead and print my string ten and see what happens. So now I have hello world, the first character which is H which lives at index uh, zero and the last letter D which lives at index ten. Now interestingly enough Indexing can work from front to back as well as from back to front. And the way we can reference uh, reverse index is that we can actually use a negative number. So let's try this again. This time I'm going to print the first character. Uh, the first character I'm going to print is going to be this letter D here. So before I said that this is at index 10, if I go my string minus 1, which is its reverse index, and run this code. I also get the letter D. And then if I wanted to say lift this letter W, I have a couple of different choices. I could go from front to back, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 for the W. So I could go print my string 6. And maybe what I'll do here is I'll just get rid of this previous index. Or I could go from the reverse index from W. So I could go minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, and I'll get the same thing. And let's put a minus sign in there. And we will run our program. So now it says hello world, it returns the W, and it also returns the W when using the reverse index. Next, let's talk about string slicing. Uh, slicing is going to allow us to grab a subsection of the string. So here I'm going to call this slicing example. And I'm going to create a variable called uh, char list. And it's just going to contain a sequence of characters. In this case, it's going to be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. And we'll stop it there. So when I print char list, we see it just returns that sequence of characters. And we see that below. What if, though, if I wanted to grab just the first three characters in this sequence, say uh, the characters A through C? To do that, I could use what's called a string slice. So here I can stop my program. I'm going to add another line. I'm going to go print char list. And this time I'm going to use opening and closing square brackets. So the first argument I'm going to specify is going to be where do I want to start my slice? which is going to be this character A. So I'm going to use index 0. Then I'm going to type a colon. And if I want to grab everything up to C, the stop position for my slice is going to be one character more 
uh, than the sequence I want to include. So if I wanted to include characters A through C, I would have to stop my slice at D, which lives at index 3. Oops. And I'll put another square bracket, and I'll close this print statement, and let's run this and see what happens. So now here's my original uh, sequence, A through J, and then the character slice returns just A, B, and C, because I've specified 0 as my starting position and 3 as my stop position. And again, if I wanted to lift a different uh, substring from char list, say for example the uh, character D, E, and F, I could change this so we know that uh, D lives at index number 3. And so that's where we're going to start our, our slice. And we're going to have to go up to G, which is one character more uh, than the sequence we wish to grab. So because I want to stop at F, uh, G lives at index 6. And let's run our code and see what happens. So now I have my original character string and then the characters D, E, and F. Now if I wanted to be tricky and grab all of the characters in the substring except for the letter J, I could do this. I could uh, print char list. This time I'm not going to specify a starting position, but I am going to specify an ending position, which is going to be the very last character in the sequence, J, and that uh, character J lives at minus one. And let's see what happens. So now it returns the string that is pretty much all of the original string, uh, less the last character, which is J. Similarly, um, I could go and grab all the characters starting at character C all the way to the end, and that would just be, um, let's see, character that lives at index 2, because C is 0, 1, 2, and then I'm going to leave this part empty. And if I run my program, we'll see that now I just have the string starting at character C all the way through the end. Well, that's it for indexing and slicing. If you found this video useful in any way, uh, please consider giving this video a like. You might also want to consider subscribing to this channel for more updates on working with Robot Mesh Studio and VEX Robots.